Well, hi, it's Kurt, and uh, welcome to our Friday edition of Day of Devotion. As we're continuing to study 1 Corinthians, we're in chapter 10, and we're going to be covering 1 Corinthians 10, 9 through 13 today. No, 9 through 11 today, my bad. And uh, I want you to know that things we see destroy faith in others should warn us. Israel had things happen that destroyed their faith. And because of that, they died in the desert. You know some of those things already. We've talked about those. They had sexual sin. They worshiped idols. I uh, hear we're going to find out that they grumbled and that they put Christ to the test. So all of that stuff happened, right? But there's plenty of things you can see that others get involved with, like porn or greed or drugs or hate, or even nationalism, that is destroying their faith should let that be a, a warning to you to be very, very careful to keep at a distance from these things, lest your faith be damaged by it. 1 Corinthians 10, 9 through 11 says, nor should we put Christ to the test as some of them did, and then died from snake bites. And don't grumble as some of them did, and then were destroyed by the angel of death. These things happened to them as examples for us. They were written down to warn us who live at the edge of the, at the edge, at the end of the age. You see, faith is precious as a gift from God. Don't lose your faith because what you're choosing to do takes you over because it can do that. Our verse for the day is, and our theme is 1 Corinthians 2, 1 and 2, which says, when I first came to you, dear brothers and sisters, I didn't use lofty words and impressive wisdom to tell you God's secret plan. For I decided while I was with you, I'd forget everything except Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified. Your faith, it's too precious. So don't allow anything to get between you and it. As we finish today, I just want to uh, invite you, to, if you want, to come to City Campus Sunday, uh, the 26th. This will be our last Sunday at City Campus, uh, 9.30, especially if you've come before uh, and aren't coming these days. I, I, I encourage you to come and say goodbye to us, but also to just worship with us and to pray with us as we pray for our community. And uh, we pray for the mission to continue, even if we're not in that building anymore. So, uh, I hope you'll come see us, 9.30 Sunday, the 26th. Uh, otherwise, uh, head someplace for church this weekend. Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, and all that stuff. I know uh, we, we probably uh, will be meeting after Christmas, but for me, the whole weekend's Christmas. So I hope you'll uh, come see us or head someplace for church. Uh, Eastside's regular church service is Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, Wednesday, Thursday at 7, Fridays at 3 and 5. Sunday, they're just going to have the video, so that's a good time to see us. Hey, uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful week. Let's pray, and then we'll be done. Father, thank you for uh, your love. Help us to uh, be warned off by others as we uh, try to maintain the faith that you've delivered once to the saints. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you guys. Have a great day.